Why did I do that? Uh, how's it going guys? This is Eric Pfft3 here for another review on... Hmm. I don't know actually. Well, okay then. Okay, let's see here. Um, no, 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 no. Already reviewed. Sure! Frank! Why not? Is this prepubescent hipster serious? Let me get this straight. You're actually gonna let all your street cred go down the drain and risk being run out of your village to review that knucklehead? Did you just talk? Shut up, Mike! This is finally my time to shine, and I won't let you ruin my big break. No book, no movie, and if you keep this up, I'll lose the review, too. Frank, you captivate the hearts of dozens, and those dozens are liable to deep-seated emotional issues, whereas my prominence scorches the hearts of millions like searing flames. And also, I simply hate you. What makes you think you're such a celebrity? As if I don't recall you being in anything. It ever so happens that I was in the last Thomas special, Sodor's treasure of the lost legend or something like that, you know? The one you weren't in? Oh. Yeah. And hey, Justin Dweeber, when is that review of yours coming out? It's coming! How can you guys even talk anyway? How can you travel in space in a wooden blue box forged with Canadian forest wood and maple syrup tears? Touché. Now, lose that pitiful excuse for a diesel and review me like one of your French girls. I'm a brand spanking new item. What? No way! Ah! Eh, hey, why not? I'm all shiny and stuff. I'm gorgeous. That's not the point. The point is, is that you are a Taken Play engine and this is a wooden railway channel. I don't want to get shunned by the TWR purists. Besides, I hate Taken Play in general. You got a bunch of Taken Play engines and a carrying case over there. Well, it's not Taken Play, it's Take Along. It's different. In what way, exactly, the buffers are occasionally printed on? It... Well, it's just different, okay? Let's stop this mindless chatter and just review me, alright? For the last time! No! Ah, uh, 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 not leaving until you do it. Fine then! If you won't leave, I guess I'll just have to go then. You know, I, I started off in Brooklyn. My father gave me a small loan of a million dollars. <laughs> On second thought, I've decided against it. Come on, come on, you need to change up your videos a bit once in a while. Besides, it's either me or Frank, and between you and me, no one likes Frank. Alright, fine. The sound of heartbreak sounds like tinfoil shredding on the inside. Oh my God. <laughs> single tear once a year. Shut up, Frank. That wasn't poetic. How's it going, guys? This is Eric Craft D3 here for another review on... <sighs> another review on... Take and Play Mike. Oh, joy. Okay, first things first, let's start with the backstory. Okay, I was built in a log shed in the middle of the woods. It was a beautiful day to build, the sun was shining, the birds were singing, and the ocean waves tickled the sky as- Yeah, I think I'm gonna do it. Mike is a miniature engine who works on the Arsdale Miniature Railway. He is based on a Ravenglass and Eskdale Railway River Mite. Well, that's a tongue twister. He arrived on Sodor in 1967 and is the youngest of three miniature engines. You mean four? Oh yeah, I almost completely forgot about Jock. What? Pfft, I don't know who Dad is. I'm just, I'm just gonna smudge him out. Oh. 
Anyways, let's start with the packaging, as we see- JESUS! Okay, let's just glance over that. Oh, look guys, they actually put Mike on the box art right there! How nice of Mattel to do- what? What? What's that? Oh, how silly of me. That's gems. And Mike is also named uh, Michal, or I don't know how you pronounce that. As we take a look at the model, we... Okay, as we take a look at the model, we find that this model does have a fair bit of detail. There are a lot of molded rivets, and they even gave him safety valves. The paint is also crisply applied, and I do like the golden features. One interesting thing to note also is that when placed alongside a take-along engine, you do notice that Mike has been made slightly smaller and slightly shorter than most standard gauge engines, which is a nice touch. The face looks the part, but sadly, it suffers from the same problem as the minis, where the paint looks printed on instead of painted, in my opinion, far from being as good as the Thomason Railway faces. And that's the end of the review. I'm brilliant. Goodbye, everybody. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hey, slow down, buddy. I'm not done with you yet. You wanted a review? You're getting the full treatment. This is everything wrong with Take and Play Mike. Oh no, 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 oh no! Let's start with the most obvious. These stupid things! This is awful, there is no other word for it, just awful. In Take and Play's most recent brand redesign, they decided to fit Thomas One Railway style magnets to the engines. Why? One of the appeal of Take Along was the magnets. Unlike Thompson Railway magnets, the Take Along magnets could connect in any way. Now, that has become impossible. Also, it's good to note that it's hideous and just looks like it's having a weird metallic bulge coming out of the front, whereas the take-along magnets were much more subtle. Next is the wheels. One other thing that I always admired of take-along was having the correct wheel configuration for every engine. Sadly, this is a thing of the past as Mike's 2A2 configuration has been squished down to an 060? with lumps of unpainted plastic at both ends that are supposed to represent the leading and trailing wheels. I don't like it! Another thing that Take Along also did very well was making their engines have a cab. And guess what, they don't got that anymore. And now we are led to the most annoying part of this model. The tender. You may wonder, what is so bad about the tender? Well, once again, and this is really just nitpicking, the tender again doesn't have the correct number of wheels. Four instead of eight. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, we don't care. What is so bad about the tender? First, I noticed how the detailing was badly applied on one side of the tender, which I consider sinful. And finally, when you look at the model in its entirety, don't you feel something's wrong? Something that is just ever so slightly wrong? The tender is too tall! I mean, just look at it, it looks like it's pulling a truck! It distracts from the rest of the model, and it just looks wrong. Yeah, you know what? That's the best way to describe this item. Wrong. Good intentions and a little bit of effort, but just plain wrong. Hey, that malicious exchange in regards to my tender reminded me that my emotions are rather... tender. Well, too bad! Now go back into your box while I order the wooden railway version. But that piece of sh Shabby wood, quotation marks, looks even worse than I do. No, but looks isn't the point of one railway. It never was. The point was to make good quality toys. And I don't see any quality in you. This is all your fault, you know. Oh, of course it is. It's always my fault. It's always Frank's fault. Why don't you go stick it with your
He went off. He was angry. Sorry, I got I felt that anger. Oh my gosh.